everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me and watch this video. Today, For today's project we will use half size composition book. Quite few of you requested some projects and I bought six pack. I bought it on Amazon. So I made few projects already and I figure let me continue so I can finish up and make total of six projects. So I see, I think I made four already. I have only two of these left, but for today's project we will use only one. So many of you requested dimensions of the notebooks I'm using. So the width of this one is seven and a half. The height is four and seven eighths. The thickness of it, it's slightly over quarter of an inch. So we will use that. We will use chipboard. So we will use two pieces, six and a quarter by seven and three quarters. We will use two pieces, six and a quarter by three quarters. And we will use one piece, six and a quarter by two and a half. I will also use this paper pad collection. I bought this one at Michael's. Um, and I did show that to you on my last Michael's haul. So I think it has beautiful papers in it. I use that to make a few different projects from this. So the paper that I chose, the paper that I chose is this one. I will use this for the outside and this for the inside. And I will use something. This is border sheet from um, another collection. But I really like it and I think because of the gold design, I think it will match really nicely in here. So, to start making this project, I should also mention we will be using some cardstock. So, to make this project, we will start, start with the cover and I will use this paper for the cover. Let me just put away all these supplies. So, we need to glue this together. And I'm thinking maybe I glue it this way. You know, maybe before we glue it, let's pre-cut this to size. So we will need eight and a quarter. That will be the height. And this one, I want to make sure that I match up the design how I want it. Eight and a quarter. Okay, so I want my gold. I guess it doesn't matter. We're gonna do it this way. So let's glue both pieces together. Okay, and now the chipboard. We will position this way. Seven and three quarters first, then three quarters. Then we have another seven and three quarters, three quarters, and two and a half. 
So this is how we will glue this. So let me start with this one. Okay, now we can glue this one. And I'm leaving approximately one eighth of an inch space in between the chipboard. Now you can put your spatula underneath to make sure that you are gluing them straight, that will help. Okay, so now we will cut some of this paper off and we're gonna leave approximately one inch of the paper. Now I am gonna keep all those cut out pieces for now. We might be using them for decoration. So now I will take spatula and I will almost score it, but at the same time I'm folding the paper because we will have really nice crisp edges. That really helps. Okay. And now I'm picking this up right against the spatula and just folding over. Now, somebody asked me where did I buy this spatula? And when I mention it, what this really is, I got a little chuckle out of it. This is actually bowl scraper and I absolutely love it because I bought it for the kitchen but I am not so much for baking. So when I bought this one I thought I'm gonna use for baking and since I don't really bake too much I figure let me use it for crafts and I like it because this edge is a little bit more of a sharper edge. I mean I can't cut myself but it's angled right here but this side it's really nice and straight and it's not sharp at all and I love to work with this side. So anyway so now we can fold this, we can fold all these sides and kind of crease them. Okay, and now we will miter all of the corners, so small angle but not all the way to the chipboard. You want to leave a little bit of that cardstock right there to make sure that your corners are going to be really nicely wrapped. And now we can glue all of these sides. So I'm going to start with the longest one. So now let's work this paper right here in between the chipboard just a little bit just to stretch it 
so it's easy to actually close this. Okay, and this will be our cover. And just like that. So, originally I thought I'm going to use cardstock to cover this, but we really don't have to. We got some of this paper left over, so that's what I'm going to use to cover uh, the spaces in between the spine. I am not going to measure this. The width, it doesn't really matter. And this is six and a quarter. So we're going to cut this to five and three quarters. We will need two pieces. And we will glue them just like that to cover that spine. So now we are paying attention to the top and the bottom and the two scores kind of in the middle of that piece. Let's make sure this is nicely stuck. And I will run the spatula right here where that score is just to define define this fold right here and as you can see we can nicely fold just make sure that especially this middle piece is really stuck because you don't want this to start bowing on you so as you can see when I close it it's nicely closed on both sides so I will do the same thing on this side Okay, let's find this space where the two chipboards almost meet. Now I'm pushing this in a little bit. I don't want to cut this paper. So now our cover is ready. Okay, so now we're going to decorate the inside. So I will use the piece that I have left over and I will cut this to 6 inches by 2 and a quarter. I want a little bit more of that gold and that will cover this part right here I might as well glue it okay as you can see now we don't have to cover the spine because the paper is already there so we have to cover those two big panels. And this is the paper I will use for inside. So I will cut it in half, so six inches. And by seven and a half. this okay 
Now from the leftover I will cut two small strips to decorate this. So the width it's six inches. So we will cut, let me trim this, we will cut two pieces only half an inch wide. I think that this is just gonna give a little bit different look when we position this. It's gonna kinda pull everything together. Okay, so our cover is just about done. So now we will decorate our composition book. So to decorate the composition book you can use any paper that would match whichever color you have on the inside. I'm choosing to use this one. I think it will blend very very nicely and this one is from Magical Thinking Collection I also I bought quite few packs of this I absolutely love this collection I made few projects out of this one so I'm gonna use it to decorate this composition book so I don't want to use too much paper for this so composition book is about four and seven eighths. I will cut it to five and a half. So that will be just a little bit extra paper and the land I'm gonna measure from this band to the end and that's six and three quarters so I will cut it down to seven. So we will glue it just like that to cover the front of that notebook. So let me apply the glue and I'm not gonna go too close to the edges because when we squish it with the spatula that glue is gonna spread and I really don't want to glue the pages. So now when I position this, I'm trying to match the bottom and cover this. So I'm pretty much trying to butt this into that black strip right there. Just like that. So let's make sure it adheres and now I will just trim this on both sides and I will round these corners just like that with the scissors. Alright, so our cover is done. So we will position it towards the bottom, just like that, and we will make it removable. So I will use the same paper as I used for the background, and I will cut strip. I want a little bit wider strip. I'm going to make it four inches because this is pretty wide. I'm gonna make even four and a half because this is pretty wide. I want to make sure that when we position this in place it's not gonna be too wobbly. 
and it's gonna stay in place so I'm not decorating the back of it so we can position this just like this on the inside you can kind of center this fold over one side I like to remove it just a tiny bit so it's not that difficult for us to actually change the notebook if we want to and here will be the band so I'm gonna mark with my finger where this will overlap and just apply the glue again don't go too close to the edges you don't want to glue the notebook okay and now this whole piece we can just position it and glue it now I'm positioning this towards the bottom because I want more space right here so make sure that the way you position it it's kind of on the middle just like that let's make sure this adheres and as you can see it's easy to position this and it's not wobbly there isn't enough room to wobble so now for this side we will do something right here so I do have a little list pad that I bought from Dollar Tree and it is really cute but what I'm thinking is that maybe we can put it something in here on this side so when you open it you still will be comfortable actually writing on this side but it's going to be a little bit different but this is of course too big we can't we can't put this in here so we will trim this down so what I'm going to do I am going to take my sharp knife Here it is, and I am going to cut this. Now the pieces that I'm cutting off, I really don't want to damage them. I will use them for another project. So with this I am gonna make little little pads and maybe we work on this on the next video so I think we can apply these notes right here we will position them on the middle so I'm not doing this removable I will just glue this in just like that and I'm positioning this also on the bottom the reason for it is we still need to place pen somewhere so we have this portion finished now we're gonna work on a place for a pen so we need to make a little pen holder and you know someone wrote me that we can actually decorate this pen so because we got portion that is see-through and I still have this pretty paper left we can actually decorate it
So let's measure this. This is approximately approximately two. Well, we have to measure it only up to here because we need to be able to still put this together just like that. So it's going to be one and seven eighths. So we're going to cut this to one and seven eighths. That's going to be for the to decorate the pen. And I will cut two pieces inch and a half wide. That will be to actually hold the pen in place. So to decorate, I have never done this before, but that was suggested by someone. Someone left me a comment and I don't remember, I don't remember, it was a little while ago. But we need to roll it. So you can take something thin and roll it, just like that. I will cut this. So let's make sure that we can put this in. Okay, it has to be done tighter. So I'm going to make that a little smaller and we can place this on the inside. Let's push this down. Okay. And now we can close it. I think this is awesome idea. It looks so pretty. I really like it. So now we will make a pen holder and we will make two pieces. So we will score at half an inch, one inch, one and a half, two and two and a half. And we will do the same thing with the second piece. Half inch, one inch, one and a half, two and two and a half. So now the dimension two and a half inch dimension and the last score we will cut it right before that score on both pieces. So now we fold this over and we're gonna glue this together just like that. Make sure that this adheres. Okay, and this is the second one. All right, so now we have option, and it is going to be totally up to you. We can put our pen right here pen holder or you can put it right here. It's really really up to you where you want it. The reason why we have this empty space on both sides it's because when we close it you want to make sure that you have enough room. If this pad would be higher you might not be able to close it because there wouldn't be enough room for that pen. So I think I'm going to put it on this side to kind of decorate this side a little bit better. So I think I will position just like that. So let me apply the glue. We will position in here. 
Let's make sure this is stuck. Okay. And now this piece I will position it and position wherever you want to cover this pencil. I'm going to shift it a little bit. Just like that. So now we have the inside completed. Now we will finish the outside. So as a closure I will use Velcro but I also don't want this to be so plain so what we could do is use leftover piece from this paper and just apply it in here so when you close it you're gonna have at least some decoration on the front in addition to this or this is what I have and I don't like this so I will actually use the leftover paper that I have so the height is six and a quarter so we need six inches and I believe this is actually it's more so we need six by two and a quarter always try it before you glue it and as you can see it's a totally totally different look okay so as I mentioned for closure I will use velcro And I think I will use two of them. Okay. When you close it first time, just make sure you got everything aligned. Okay. And here is our project. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, this we can also decorate. So let me see. We can take some little cataparts that we have. And you can really use them from any collection that you have as long as the colors really match together. So here we got a lot of pink. We can put this with a little message if you are giving this to someone as a gift. And a matter of fact, if we place glue only on three sides, you have little packet in here. So if you're giving this to somebody as a gift, you can actually put gift card right on the inside. As you can see, we have a little packet. So I hope you like this project. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it came out adorable. I really love the whole look of it. I think it's beautiful. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Thank you for so much for watching. And I hope to see you soon in my next video.